Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Support and Resistance Series, fifth lesson. Different highs and lows types, and the most powerful ones, lesson 2 on 2. In this lesson, you will learn extreme zone of the chart to find your V and capital A shape reversal, which one take in account, and what shape do they have in real chart, other wildly rejected extremes, tips on the shape of the previous rejection, and confluence support and resistance alone type good way to confirm very strong levels so the third type of this lesson is with a V or capital A shape they are very very strong those levels should be taken in account at the extreme highs and lows of your chart as the name says they will form a quite steep V or capital E shape which means price has been rejected violently and the order flow was so important that the price spent only a very short amount of time there. We will see one or two candles max at the top of the A or the bottom of the V. It also means that the crowd and the big player did agree that this price was a good level to buy if it created a V or to sell if it created an A. Let's see some examples. First, we select extreme highs and low zone. So on this specific chart, we have the Euro USD daily chart. I select this zone, this zone, and this a little bit bigger zone. We will call them zone 1, zone 2, and zone 3. Let's look at the zone 1. So after we search for extreme zone on your chart, we search an A or V shape formation on the last attempt of the level extreme highs and low zone. So this is our zone 1. As you can see, we have the price ranging at the level before leaving. This is not a V shape formation and I disregard this level because of the range. Zone 2, what do we have here? Here we have a M formation which is also not very good for the V-shape so I disregard the next attempt after that but look at the next attempt it makes a perfect A-shape and never come back after that so this is a confirmed level for a future reversal zone 3 now here we go so our first touch of this specific level was a perfect V-shape so on this one I will take the, the touch just after that for rejection and it was pretty successful then we have this very nice also V shape formation with a nice pin bar at the bottom and the price hasn't come back there yet so it will be for us a very good next level for the future touch to play a reversal Force type, extreme level with little range, then a strong rejection. Still on extreme zone, these type of turning points are ranging a little at the level before turning violently in a reversal way. They are still powerful, but I would say a little less than the V and A shape formations. Let's look at some chart. How is it formed? First we need a very strong move with big candle going up in this specific example to reach the level of resistance. Then we need to see a short term range at the top, I would say 10 candle maximum. Then after that we need to see a strong move with big candle rejecting the level. So strong move going to the level and strong move getting out of the level with a strong rejection. So let's look at another example. So same place, we have big blue candle going up and the price go quite steeply up. Little rage at the top and strong rejection. And I would say the rejection is more important than the way it goes up. Other example, big white candle going down to support this time. 
a range, less than 10 candle, and after a big blue candle going up and leaving the zone very sharply. So this level is confirmed too, for the next touch. Additional tip, the last attempts of any level give you a clue of what will happen in the next touch. Let's look at this picture. A level rejected with little body candle. Go from up and reject little blue candle going up. After that the price doesn't leave the zone, it stays near the level of support. And what happens just after that? The level breaks. So a level not widely rejected as the last touch has more chance to break. Other example a level rejected with big body candle, white candle. After that, the price leaves the zone very fast, and when it comes back, it has more chance to win, and it rejects very well after that. Fifth part, the confluence. The actual best way to find support and resistance, when you take only support and resistance by themselves. Principle, finding a level that has passed through different powerful stages in the past, Ideally, a level that has been in a pin bar, V-shape rejection stage, plus has been a range pivot and finally several rejection as support as well as resistance through different periods in the past. Example, so 3 confluence is the ideal, but it's very rare. So first, a level reacts well as a support with regular extreme spikes, react well as a resistance, same way with spikes, and third has been in the middle of a range 2 as a pivot line. So let's look at the Euro USD example. We have three very nice rejection at the level, so the level acts very well as a support. Then we look at different time and we have very nice rejection as a resistance with the spike again and V-shape formation at the level. And finally in another time period it was in the middle of this specific range and acted as a pivot point, rejecting as well as a support and resistance. This was taken on the same time frame. You need to use the same time frame. If you lose a daily chart, you need, you need to find rejection as a support on a daily chart, rejection as a resistance on a daily chart, and middle of a range pivot line on a daily chart. So whatever you analyze, you stay on the same chart to find those three confluence. You don't switch any time frame. You keep the same time frame as the one you are analyzing. So I make a little video to explain you the different stages here. So we have a range here and I place in the middle my pivot line, the middle of the range. And then I will look in the past to see if this level reacts well as both support and resistance. And if we have extreme spike with V-shape formation there. So we can see nice support here, nice support here, but not really a V-shape, so not confirmed yet. And then we go in the, sp in the past, I scroll, and we see this one, very nice V-shape with the end of the week, extreme weeks. So this is confirmed on this one, and it, it did that two times, with a two V-shape formation as a resistance. And after in the past, I scroll a lot, but it didn't come back again. So I was just doing that to show you that some level has a three conference and they work very, very well. But when you don't have, when you just have two conference, it's, al it's also very, very powerful. So that's the three conference I wanted to show you, and that's it for this little short insertion. So to summarize, we take into account V-shape rejection that are at the extreme of our chart and happen during the last rejection of a specific level to be takeable on the next touch. The steeper the shape, the better probabilities of a reversal when price would come back to the level. Steep rejection with little range are nearly as strong as V and A shape. The range at the level shouldn't be longer than 10 candle. Additional tip, the last touch rejection strength is a good clue to what will happen in the next touch. Stronger is the last rejection of a specific level, with more probability of success you will take it when it will retouch it. And the final words on these specific lessons in two parts. Three confluences doesn't happen often, but when it does, you can expect one of the best level. Two confluences are already nice and will provide strong levels too.
So if you have only two, it's okay. We are already at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and share and join us on Facebook. The link are below the video. Comment if you want me to do a video on a specific topic about trading. And if you need a quality broker, I recommend IC Market. And my link is below if you need. I have tested a lot of brokers in the past for Forex and IC Market is a true ECN broker regulated in Australia and the one that I personally use and the best we have found so far with very very good condition to trade. I publish video every week so subscribe to my channel to be updated. I wish you all the best. Bye!